Hiya, I'm just going to give you a little bit of help with your maths today. You should be fine, but for those who aren't feeling confident, today we are going to be going over what we did on Friday, which is finding the area of triangles. Now, I've got on the board here, I've got a rectangle and a triangle. And as you might have noticed, the triangle is exactly half the size of the rectangle. So therefore, the area will be half the amount. Now, I've unitized today to practice the skill we've been doing with our um, ratio and proportion. So, each line on the grid paper is five centimetres, which means that our rectangle has, an air, has a um, length of one, two, three, four, five squares, five times five, so that would be 25 centimetres, and a width of two squares, two fives, are 10 centimetres. So to find the area, as we know, we multiply the width and the length, 10 times 25 would be 250 centimetres squared. Now to find the area for our triangle, we would halve that because the triangle is half the area of the rectangle. So half of 250 centimetres squared would be 125 centimetres squared. Now you might not always have an accompanying rectangle. So in that case, Bear with, bear with. In that case, what you would do as we were training ourselves on Friday is create a rectangle around your triangle. If, so in this case, it would be around this isosceles triangle, that would be the rectangle. And as you can see, the rectangle would be double the size of the triangle. So when we find the area of the rectangle, we can still halve it to find the area of the triangle. So in this case, I've unitized that each length of each, um, each square width is three meters. So in this case, we would have three times five, which would be 15 meters. And then this would be two times three, which would be six meters. So, to find our rectangle, we need to do 6 times 15. Lots of you would jump straight for short multiplication, but we can do it our mental methods. We can do 6 times 10 and 6 times 5. 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times 5 is 30. So we have got an area of our rectangle of 90 metres, which means to halve it and find the area of our triangle, half of 90... 45. So our tr triangle is 45 metres squared. I forgot to mention the squared on the 90 metres squared. I bet you were on me. So I hope that's reminded you of how to find the area of triangles. Do your best and I will be super impressed to see how you get on. Right, good luck for your maths. Take care. Bye-bye.